right, here's our mass density volume triangle, which we're going to use to answer this question. Suppose something has a mass of 50 grams, its volume is 10 cm cubed, work at its density. So what you then do, if you look over here, mass is 50 grams, so we write um, 50 here, okay, 50 grams. Um, let's see now, volume, volume is 10. So now we need to work out this density here. Right, this density over here is mass divided by volume. 50 divided by 10, which is equal to 5. Density is equal to 5. But what are the units? The units are grams per centimeter cubed. In other words, for this thing, uh, substance, one centimeter cubed, one little centimeter cubed like that, okay, that's roughly one centimeter cubed, has a mass of five grams. So if I take a small chunk out of that thing, like a little cube out of it, its mass would be five grams. And as you know, metals tend to have a higher density, a bigger density, so it'd be more than five grams per centimeter cubed, most metals. Right, another question. Density this time is two grams per centimeter cubed. So one little centimeter cubed is worth two grams. Okay, a little bit less than the other one. And its volume is eight centimeter cubed. Right. We need to work out its mass. So we're looking at a triangle here again. A mass is what we're trying to work out. Put a question mark there. Right there. Right. Density is right there. Two. And the volume, which is right there, is eight. Now, to get the mass, what we're going to do is density times by volume. Two times eight. It's 16, right? What's the unit gonna be for mass? Well, mass can be grams, kilograms, tons, but in this case, because the density is given as two grams per centimeter cubed, grams, that's going to be grams, can't be kilograms. So remember, density will be given as grams per centimeter cubed, could be kilograms per meter cubed, etc., etc. Volume could be either millimeter cubed, centimeter cubed, meter cubed. If you take a large chunk of the earth, kilometer cubed. And mass could be grams, oh, it could be micrograms, milligrams, uh, kilograms, tons, etc. Right, I'm going to do a bit more advanced work. Um, some things that you need to know is. One meter cubed, that's like a big box, is worth one million centimeter cubed. Okay, the maths behind that is in a different video. But you can put these little centimeter cubes, a million of these, in a big box, one meter cubed. Uh, one kilogram is the same as thousand grams, so two kilograms, two thousand grams, three kilograms, three thousand grams, and so on. Right, here's our problem now, mass 10 kilograms. So something has a mass of 10 kilograms. Its volume is 50 centimeter cubed. Need to work out its density in grams per centimeter cubed. Right, if they didn't give us the units, right, if they didn't give us the units, I would have just done this. Um, mass over here, 10, 10 kilograms. Uh, volume, Put here 50 centimeter cubed. I would have just done 10 kilograms divided by 50 centimeter cubed. 10 
divided by 50 gives you 0 0.2 kilograms. What's the units? Kilograms per centimeter cubed. Kilograms per centimeter cubed. Right, that is quite dense. So one little centimeter cubed of that substance would have a mass of 0 0.2 kilograms, 200 grams. Right, um, the thing is, in this question, they want to know what it is in grams. Now I can work with this and say, well, if one kilogram is a thousand grams, so 0 0.2 kilograms would be 200 grams per centimeter cubed. Right, that's one way of doing it. And I only managed to get this answer because I used these numbers. I used these numbers and the units. Or what I could have done is this. Because they want the answer in grams per centimeter cubed, grams, but the trouble is I've got kilograms here and they want the answer in grams per centimeter cubed. So it's a good idea to convert that kilograms into grams. So one kg is 1,000 grams. So 10 kg will be 10 lots of that. Won't be 1,000, it'll be 10,000 grams. Then I can just do 10,000 grams divided by 50 centimeter cubed. In this case, that'd be 10,000 grams divided by, you can see here, divided by the 50. 10,000 divided by 50. 10,000 grams divided by 50 will be 200 grams per centimeter cube look grams per centimeter cube grams per centimeter cube so 200 is the answer so either way you'll get the same answer